This playthrough is rated M for Mature. With the ending of an old, a uh, new tale, it's time to look back to the old and see how it all began. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volume right here with another game from my collection. This time it's God of War in uh, celebration of God of War Ragnarok coming out either soon or maybe about the time of this recording. It's time to look back at the Ghost of Sparta and see where you all began before you became a dad and got a dad bod and tried to deal with unruly teenagers as, as, as is wont. Um, so yeah, back in 2005 when Sony published this, it was a, a big hit because it was just action-packed, you know, you know, I wouldn't say gory, but you know, bloody aggressive with a hero that just took no prisoners, was super angry about everything, and perhaps it represented teenagers or young adults at the time. It's hard to say, and yeah, it's definitely evolved over the years uh, for good or ill, depending on your view of things. But the God of War is still a classic series of trilogies, unless you count the spin-off like PSP games and stuff like that. Um, I did record this uh, one of these games like a long time ago. I think it was the PSP one. Um, so it's been a long time since I played this. And I did play the God of War uh, redo, or the new one, that not Ragnarok yet. But I played that one like off screen. I never recorded it. It was pretty good. I liked it. So I'll be interested to play Ragnarok eventually. I don't know if I'll buy it as soon as it comes out. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about God of War. Let's take a look at the options screen. We can set it to widescreen. Don't need to do that on my setup here. Progressive scan, and we can leave that off. Soften, we'll leave that as is. Um, stereo, yeah, looks like everything we can leave as is for the most part. So let's start our tail. So we can either try mortal mode, which is basically enemies do less damage, less HP, and that's pretty much what it is. No, no uh, AI differences or anything like that. So let's just stick with hero mode and go from there. The gods of Olympus have abandoned. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Alright, let's set up for the tutorials. We hit the uh, GNC and test out Kratos' new skills. Yeah, Kratos is just as fast and aggressive as always. So, yeah, the basic combat is square is light attacks and triangle is heavy attacks, and you can com combo them to do like specific things. Use the right analog stick to flip and move around. Left analog stick is for standard move. Yeah, as you can see there. Now, there's probably going to be some graphical glitches over the course of this game because I'm not playing this on a native PS2, unfortunately. I tried to, but the way I have it set up, it would be way too loud of a noise to, to take that out of the recording. And the way I've got it set up here, I try to do my best my can to get to reasonable, like where it won't mess up too badly. So we'll just just kind of ignore ignore what's going on. But anyway, yeah, we can uh, uh, circle to grab people. We can uh, use it to throw them at people, depending on the situation. So depending on the enemy, you can or can't grab them. So really, this is a, a tutorial section just to get used to the combat controls and everything like that. Not too difficult. It's when it gets later on. So. Uh, looks like these zombies are going to keep spawning unless we uh, do something about them. So, yeah, one of the big things about this game was just how fast the combat was in this game. Not that the games on PS2 weren't fast before. It's just, like, there was just something about, like, the speed of it. You know, the only other games that could do that were, were like, Devil May Cry and stuff like that. So, quick, easy, fast, you know, easy to get used to. Even a amateur action gamer like myself could, uh, get some pretty decent combos and abilities, so. You know, 
now. Let's see if I can go ahead and grab this now or not. Oh, do I have to press it? Okay. I'll have to finish these guys off. Sometimes you can do it before that if you just want to keep going. So. Yeah, it looks like I'm not getting any health drops, unfortunately. Oh well. Right, let's see if we can try it again with them. Ah, come on. Now are you dead? All right, now we can. I guess I didn't shouldn't have let myself get hurt that many times. So. All right, here we go. Press and hold R2 to open chests. Yeah, we want to find these over the course of the game because there's uh, some that just gives us health bumps, and then there's some that'll give us like stat increases and stuff like that. So. Actually, is there anything more here before we head on out? No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're trying to clear out the ship of uh, monsters or something like that. I wonder what the gods send a mortal man to do such a thing. Why don't they do it themselves? Yeah, you can block in the game. If you block right, you can either take no damage or you can, like, counter them by pushing. It. See, it's, create, it's like kind of shoves things forward. You can actually do, like, a, a counter if you hit it just right. I'm never very good at that. I'll try to try to do it, but we'll see how the game proceeds. What the? Sea monster. Of some sort of, of, oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember to block when, uh, when it comes to attacking me, so I'm really bad about, like, comboing and uh, getting uh, stuck in uh, my combo mode or whatever, so yeah, I'm just gonna hit this thing, so yeah, it's, you can tell it's still a tutorial because this thing drops health every time I hit it so many times. Obviously, if it was a real boss, it'd only do it after certain uh, certain encounters or, what, or certain uh, damage is instilled on it. I guess this is a tutorial to indicate that, yeah, if you hurt certain monsters so many times, you can get health from them. But anyway, press X, uh, X, circle to initiate video games. And this one, yeah, this is the game that in, start initiating QTEs to a ridiculous extent, and people start copying it to an inane degree. Like, this game's QTEs actually aren't that bad in the grand scheme of things, but game creators took some of the concepts of it and made it worse. You Over the years, if you watch some of my videos, you know how much I hate QTEs, like, just... How, like poorly implemented ones, I guess. But anyway, well, like, in this game, it's not so bad. I know, I understand the idea of QTs is to keep like keep a cinematic scene, but allow um, allow player input, so it's not just them watching the scene. But some creators just like it just make it lazily, so if that makes sense. So I don't know it's the best explanation for it, but you know it's a. Uh, Try to get back up. Yeah, you can see some of the graphical glitches in the background show. Whoops. Sorry, I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to go through this fast without like. Kratos, why don't you just jump over it? No. Oh, well. Kratos is not known for subtlety if, if you play the games, at least until um, the God of War PS4 version. So I'll probably end up just playing the PS4 version because I don't have a PS5 and I really don't want to pay for a PS5 right now. It's not really. Well, I don't want to go into specifics, but let's just say that there's really not a lot for me to buy that system for. Stay not away. Stay away from me. Despite the fact that the system's still hard to get these days because of scalpers and stuff like that, so. I know, I know you. who you are, Spartan. I know what you've done. I would rather die than be saved by you. That can be arranged. No! I want to kill him. You, the ghost of Sparta. Stay away! Stay away from me! Anything else you want to say? Okay, you're just, you're just repeating yourself, so... Apparently we've got a reputation as uh, the Ghost of Sparta, so... Let's grab these red orbs. Now, what are these red orbs and what they do? They're actually an upgrade system. Uh, yeah, we can power up our different... Uh, as you can see here, we've got a lot of abilities we can unlock over the course of the game. Right now we have the Blades of Chaos, which are the classic staple of... a. Uh, Kratos, which are the blades that are wrapped around his arms with chains, and he shoots them out to attack people. So one of the most iconic weapons in gaming. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Don't have enough right now. I only have uh, uh, 300, so I can't really power this up right now. So we'll just leave it as is. So there'll be other things we can use this on. So yeah, we can evade. I already know about that. So. But thanks for telling me, game. Yeah, and a lot of things are going to give you red orbs, so... Unless you try not to fight a lot of things, which you have to anyway. Uh-oh, we got a... We got random dudes running around. Oh, uh, we got a... What? Uh, like, uh... 
gremlins or something. Like, not gremlins, uh, gargoyles or something like that, or imps. But anyway, yeah, do you see like the random people like running around? You can actually um, uh, <laughs> attack them for health, and yeah, um, you can grab the uh, creatures here and out like rip their arm, uh, rip their wings off. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, the people you can just kill them. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kratos uh, doesn't care about his fellow man at all. Yeah, you gotta just love how like just how just aggressive Kratos is in this world. I see you couldn't do obviously you couldn't treat Kratos like this forever. Obviously, um, as, as in showing the newer series of games, but there's just something like sometimes having a, just a, a main character that just doesn't have those foibles. Like he just goes in, just, you know, kicking butt, taking names. Anyway, the, hot, the creature's back. Well, I know what this creature is, but for the sake of for the sake of everything, let's just say he's the creature. Yeah, see that little light um, slow down? That means I blocked it properly. What the? Don't eat me. I'm not tasty and delicious. I'm full of me I'm full of anger. And anger does not taste good. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Depending on depending on if you're a demon or something like that. No. Yeah, I guess you can't. Some abilities I know you can't really block. Ooh. Yeah, you can tell how bad I am about about blocking everything. There we go. Yeah, you can tell I'm a big fan of like using the light attack in these games. I mean, the heavy attacks are good too, but I'm just so I like just getting like multi attacks and stuff like that. So I don't know. Although I guess this would be a good time to use a heavy attack just because of that. He's he would be down so. Well, luckily this is a QTE scene, so I don't have to worry about taking too much damage from this. So. You think the creature at some point would stop doing this, but this is a PS2 game. There's only so much you can do. So. Bye bye. We'll see you again later. Hey, anyway, let's uh, go into this next area here. Ooh, a chest. What's inside? More red orbs. Over the course of the game, we will find chests that like improve our stat, uh, like our life bar and stuff like that, but. Uh, but we'll have to wait till we get to that, so. And more red orbs. Awesome. I tend to like, uh, uh, out of all the weapons, I tend to like upgrading the Blades of Chaos first before anything else, so. Alright, time for our swimming section. Hey, a main character in a, in a game that can actually swim? My god. It is possible. Yeah, well, the main reason most main characters can't swim in games, I talked about this before, but it's just because most people didn't want to code in a swimming mechanic uh, in the game, so they just made them drown, so that's why most uh, heroes can't uh, swim. Oh, I guess I have to climb up. For some reason, I thought I could go further in just to see if there was, like, a chest or something like that. So. Uh-oh, more of the... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's the... Yeah, we've already done that before, but, yeah, I'll show you. But, yeah, if you do it right, you can uh, follow up with the attack. Yeah, I see, and then you can also grab them there. Actually, let me show that one off if I can. Okay. Or not, I'll just punch you, whatever. Or grab you, I mean. I keep, I keep trying to do it, but I, I keep messing up, man. You know? And then, of course, the one time I do it, I can't show it off. Well, there's that one where you can grab them while they're in the air. So there's, so there's a lot of ways to play this game. I like it. I mean, yeah, the combos don't change too much over the course of the game, but it's just enough variation to not be boring. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, for some reason it didn't let me grab the um, grab it. So I don't know why. So I try this again and not die. Luckily, the game was be very nice with its checkpoints. So. And the, th the fact is, I probably shouldn't even die there just because of like how, uh, how like easy, how big that thing is. So. Uh, yeah, we want to go this way just to get a treasure. Oops. No. Yeah, see, he grabs it now, but he didn't grab it before for some reason. So I don't know why. But anyway, let's grab this treasure chest. More orbs. But in later areas, we'll find like health upgrades and power upgrades and stuff like that. So. 
Climbing, climbing, little by little. Step by step, inch by inch. Surprise, uh, surprise Kratos with his lack of finesse could even do something like this, you know what I mean? Then again, he is a warrior, so, you know, warriors aren't all meatheads. As much as people, like, want to make you think otherwise, so. Anyway, nope, can't, can we actually fall off there? But anyway. Visions, they were real. The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late. We're pinned down. These creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed. All hope is lost, Spartan. Even for you. I got the game has a really dark sense of humor. Uh, but yeah, if we go into those light beams, we can save the game, so let's do that. Oh, did I forget to format this thing? Huh. I Yeah, I got a... Um, oh, well, with this setup, I have to format it. Actually, you did have it back in the day as well, but... Alright, save my data. Hurry, hurry, I wish to play more Kratos. Quickly now. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I, I, I always loved how dark this game got when it comes to its humor and stuff like that. Can't actually, can actually fall up there. No, okay. I wasn't sure. Do I? Oh, yeah. I guess I could use the health. So. All right. Let's uh, try to get past uh, these archers. All right. Oop. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So one of the mechanics in this game is moving stuff around. So. Which we're gonna need to get up there, so uh, let's see. Yeah, we can just kick it. Now, of course, I didn't do that great of a job with it, but we can also push it too, so it's probably better to do that anyway so we don't get hit by the uh, arrows. The slings and arrows of our defeat. Now, if you wanna get a. Uh, if you don't wanna get some health back. Yeah, just kill this guy. <laughs> or any of the guys, really. To do. ah, Dang it. Alright, maybe it's better to. Yeah, I'll just have to be a bit more efficient with what I'm doing, so let's try that again. So. Ah, man. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it one more time. Yeah, if it takes too much damage, it gets destroyed. Ah. It's taking too much damage, so that's the only problem with it. Stop it. I'm trying not to take the damage anyway, for the sake. Alright, we're almost there. Closer and closer now. And good thing uh, Kratos is uh, more more machine now than man, or more monster now than man. So. Yeah, he's like, I'm trying to kick it here. Stop hitting me with your arrows. This leads to arrows of my defeat. Okay. I mean, you could have already figured out the double jump. Yeah. yeah, this is what you get for hitting me in the face with arrows. I don't like it. Luckily, there's a heal thing up ahead, so we can uh, cure ourselves. So. Oh. I'm surprised they let me grab. Huh. It's actually not supposed to let you grab it just because of, like, where they are, so... Alright, anyway. Let's heal ourselves. We didn't take that much damage. But. Now, I love the music in this game, too. Just a good combination of, you know, the chorus and uh, and action beats, drums, and all that. So it's a very nice combination of it. Yeah. Key, huh? This is the door to the captain's quarters. It's locked tight. From the sound of things, there's, well, this is where the women are trying to hide from the massacre. But we gotta save the women. Women and children first are saved. Quit crying, my, my dears. I will save you. I will climb this thing. And yeah, you can attack these guys while you're up here. So you can either use the, you know, fast or heavy on both of those. So I think you can also grab them too, if I remember. Yeah. 
not getting it for some reason, but you can grab them too, so. Just pull them, <laughs> pull them down. Down you go! Yeah, quit messing with me, dude. Yeah, fall down. I don't care about you at all. Yeah. Sometimes, it, depending on how you do it, sometimes it's faster just to, uh, like, uh, grab them instead of actually trying to attack them. At least that's how I feel anyway, so. Oops. I was actually trying to see the birds. Weirdly enough, these guys are actually really annoying enemies despite them being really early game. I don't know why. I always found these guys to be supremely obnoxious to fight for some reason. Okay, you guys need to stop that. Yeah, let's see if we can get some. Oh, come on. Fine. I'm trying to grab him. Well, let me grab him. So, Alright, fine. And yeah, you can't, uh, you can't, like, make quick jumps and stuff like that to, uh, like, go by faster up these things. So. Yeah, I'll just take the hits. You guys gonna stop spawning, please? <laughs> Ugh. No. So find that key. We gotta find that key. Find that key. No, we gotta. We got words here. That's close, I guess. At the, let's go this way. I know what you're you're supposed to jump off the whoops. Which I don't see anything over there. Maybe there isn't any reason to go over there, but I have to check it anyway, so. No, I guess not. Hmm. For some reason I thought there'd be something over here. I guess I'm misremembering, so alright. Fine. Let's go back then. Yeah, look at how far the this place goes. It's just a graveyard of ships and stuff like that. But anyway, to go to the next area, let's jump up here. All right. Let's see what's in this thing. Ooh, what do we get? The Gorgon Eye. Yeah, this increases our overall health of the game. So you find five, and you get. Get it. I'll try to find most of them, but we'll see what happens. I tend to always miss one because I'm not paying attention or whatever. So, and most of them are either going back, or going a certain direction, or or destroying like a wall or something like that, and you'll find one. So, what's this? A power? So the, uh, uh, perhaps a gift from the gods? Lord Poseidon, Kratos, before you reach Athens, there is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, it has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable, but you will need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. So we get Poseidon's Rage, so don't you think lightning and all that would be a Zeus thing? But anyway. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Selecting Poseidon's Rage from uh, by pressing right directional button and press L2 to activate it. So yeah, it's a and we get to show it off here. So let's show it off. Yeah, it's lightning, but like, that's a Zeus thing. I don't get that, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> that's what the game wants us to do. And yeah, now that now that we have a magic power, we can now um, we can now upgrade this too. So this game has a version of. Um, the upgrade is similar to the Gorgonize for our special attacks and uh, everything like that. So, and yeah, this game has a combo system. If you get higher combos, you get more red orbs when you destroy creatures and stuff like that. So, 
All right, let's uh, go in. Not for a second, I was like, let's go ahead and save it again really quick. For recording purposes, I always like rec saving in different slots just in case something happens, like a uh, game crashes or something with like that. Unfortunately, when I was playtesting this, I did have a couple instances of, of crashing. So, with the way the setup, I think it's just because of how fast this game runs and everything with that. So. Now, I heard that this actually did happen on the original console way back in the day, depending on which PS2 you had. So, um, it wasn't common, but it did happen. So. Looks like the Hydra has the captain's key, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to fight these guys. So, all right, let's see if we can actually do this right. Ah, nope. All right, we have to hit them down first before we do that. So, oops. So we have to fight multiple Hydra heads, and yeah, for those who are unaware of the Hydra, it is a mythical creature in Greek mythology that uh, um, has multiple heads. And uh, every time you cut a head, it actually regrows another one from the blood of its uh, other head. It's a very heinous creature. Um, I think in Greek mythology, the only creature, the person I ever fight him was uh, um, uh, Her 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 or Hercules or Heracles, depending on which, uh, if you're uh, either the Roman or uh, Greek version of the story. Yeah, there's actually two versions of the, uh, the tales, depending on um, where you were at at the time, because uh, Rome uh, took a lot of uh, the Greek gods for themselves, so that's why you've got um, I forgot all the different variations, like on the names and everything with that. But yeah, if you look up Roman and Greek, there's there's different pronunciations for that. So okay, now we need to get this head uh, sealed off. So we have to just jump on this. Boom! All right, you're sealed. So we'll get back to you later. Yeah, convenient that the uh, ship has a. Uh, I, mean, I guess I could be using my magic power. I'm actually really bad about using that, too. Interestingly enough. I'm getting better, better at uh, uh, using my block ability. Mainly because the game pretty much almost instantly lets you press it. Like, in a lot of games, if you go combo heavy, um, sometimes it doesn't let you do that. You know what I mean? Because you, uh, some some games you you're forced to in the com or you're forced to continue the combo, but in this game it's pretty pretty easy to stop it. Um, this and Don Devil May Cry were pretty good about that. Still crazy, like how how sm for the most part this game is pretty smooth. You know, you gotta give uh, gotta give the people who made this credit. Uh, was it David Jaffe, the guy who created uh, Twisted Metal? Um, too bad he's a bit, well, I don't want to go into detail. Let's just say he's not the same man as he was back in the day, so. Whoa. All right, main head. Actually, I may end up using my, uh, may end up using my magic now. Just because that'll actually help me do damage to him, so. Look at all that damage. Man, that's a lot of damage. Ah, I missed it. All right, fine. Yeah, I think on this one I can't actually block his attacks. Yeah, I think I have to actually uh, dodge him. Okay. Yeah, can you stay put really? Ah, dang it. I was actually going to... Whoops. 
That was actually what I was gonna do, but I uh, I didn't press the button. Then, ooh. Yeah, I need to fully. Oh, I'm not evading far enough. Yeah, as you can see there, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it, but uh. Oh, there we go. We got his uh, QTE attack. Oh, come on, get over there. Get hit by the pillar. Who's up for round two? Ah, I keep I keep evading a different the wrong direction, so he keeps trying to knock me off. <laughs> I actually rolled into his teeth there. He's not letting me like combo him enough to uh use my magic on him. Taking a little bit longer than expected. I mean, obviously this is a tutorial boss fight, so obviously he's not supposed to be that hard, so... Ow. It's kind of weird to see just like Kratos flop like a ragdoll sometimes, like... When, uh... When he, get, when he gets smacked or something like that by like the cre or bitten by the creature, you know? the Hydra. I guess I can call it. I don't know why I keep calling it the creature. There we go. Nice. Okay. Alright, get into the pillar there, dude. Gotta make some woodwork happen. You can tell I'm not doing a ton of damage to him, so... There we go, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I've been trying to get him with the magic, but I keep not doing enough damage to him. So. Alright, one more thing we need to do. If you can't already tell what we're supposed to do for this. You can scream at me all you want, dude. It ain't gonna change things. I gotta just go. Oh. I was about to say, I'm gonna just wait till he gets a really good. So he gets a really good spot, and then I can, uh... Actually, I'm gonna see if I can just wait for him to, uh... Bite again, and then hit him with magic. Yeah, there we go. That seems to be enough to get him in the... Combo. Oh, I didn't do it again. Fight the thing. There we go. Oh, whoops. I was expecting him to like drop down so I could. Oh, there we go. Man, we're tearing this guy apart. But he is a heinous creature, so the heinous Hydra. Yep. Go do the same thing to his, the, this head as the others. Wait, that one guy survive? Huh. Yeah, for some reason their heads exploded. I don't know why. But anyway. Would you fall into the body? I do. I guess. I guess the Hydra is more like a duck. It just swallows instead of chews.
Okay, with how strong Kratos is, why wouldn't he just bash the door down? Now, yeah, whatever. You've acquired the key to the captain. So, yeah, now we have to go back to the... Uh, yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> More dark humor from this game. Yeah. yeah, you could tell where Jaffe got his inspiration from... Or took his story writing from a... Um, um, twisted Metal and put it into this with this dark... Dark tones and everything like that. So, all right. Let's get up here and finish this place. Yeah, we're almost done with this tutorial. I was thinking about cutting it in between. I was like, nah, this tutorial isn't super long. We can get to the end of it before. Uh, we'll just make it a long beginning episode, so. I didn't really have much HP loss, but. I mean, if I was playing hard mode, yeah, but. Right, what do we got here? We got a second Gorgon's Eye. Alright. No. There we go. Sometimes my depth perception is not very good, so. Right, now we make our way back here. Yeah, sure, we'll save it one more time since uh, technically the section gets re restarted, so. But yeah, luckily, there's still monsters here, but not the. Or more archers, but not the same as before, so. Did I just dodge into that thing? I got the archers, of course. The, like in all games, they're the most annoying uh, creatures to fight. I was, trying to, uh, I was thinking of uh, trying to. You can uh, you can actually throw enemies into uh, uh, other enemies. But I seem to be doing a very poor job of doing that. Spawning, aren't we? I guess I technically don't have to fight these guys. I can't continue on. But you know, it's red orbs for leveling up purposes, so why not? Yeah, almost done. Finally got to do a good combo on him. Oh, did we get them all? Oh, right. Yeah, you you spawned, but uh, okay, now we're done. All right, unless, okay, good, good, good. I'm glad. All right, let's get that. Let's get to that cabin and save the ladies. Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. Unlock the door. Where are all the ladies? Hello. Aw oh man, the ladies are gone. Kratos is forever alone. Maybe you guys ran all the way back. Now why? I don't know, so be prepared for fun. Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past, a past he could never escape. <laughs> his only solace was the sea, endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. For no matter how much wine he consumed or how many women he took to his bed, nothing on earth could rid him of the horrors that plagued his mind. <laughs> Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, 
then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. And like all games in the God of War series, at least the beginning ones, there's always a mini-game involving some lovely ladies, uh, which Kratos will uh, uh, oblige. But after he does that, he's on to Athens. What awaits us in Athens? What new enemies and creatures will we fight? Will the gods give us what, what our rewards are to fight the God of War himself? Name drop? We'll find out next time in the next episode of God of War, the PS2 version. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.